Who agrees with me? All public toilets should have bidets installed. Ever since the pandemic started, toilet paper have been hard to find, and I think they even raised the price. I'm the best at what I do, and that is to test new products to see if they are worth your hard-earned money. Unless you're rich like Elon Musk, welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood social media engineer with another exciting unboxing. Today, we're going to take an exclusive look at the Semodra Ultra Thin Bidet Attachment. You can purchase the Semodra Bidet on Amazon for around $40. Looks like there are three colors to choose from. Black, brushed nickel, and white. First off the bat, what's awesome about this simple design is that it uses only cold water, so we are bypassing the electronic component and also the hot water hookup, which might require you to drill a hole in your cabinet. All right, so, this is the new design. We bring your life a new experience. The box looks pretty simple. Let's go ahead and open it. You know what? I'm pretty excited to add another bidet attachment to my restroom. I have a total of four toilets in my house, uh, four bathrooms, uh, three, what's it called? Like three full and one half. So that's what, three and a half? All right, so you have all the tools you need right here. So confirm you have all these components. Once you unbox it, you have the bidet attachment. There's a thank you card, and an instructions guide, plumber's tape, a washer, and a T valve, along with the extension hose and these uh, toilet covers. And here's the finished product. Oh yeah, and let's not forget about the plumber's tape. This is very important to prevent leakage. Okay, so here is the bidet attachment. This is the black unit. And it looks like there's a swivel door that opens and closes so you can clean it easier. Two nozzles, one to wash the rear, one to wash the front. And this can be self-cleaning. It's made of ABS plastic right here. And here's the button control. This is for the rear wash right here. Kind of like a, a booty simple, I guess. <laughs> Off, front wash, and self-clean. And this is to adjust the volume water that you let out through the nozzle. Let's go ahead and install this. All right, so this is my master bathroom toilet. Don't worry if your configuration is slightly different because I have a handheld bidet right here. So it's slightly different attachment. So the two you're gonna to need are a wrench and a flathead screwdriver. For most of you, your water valve will look more like this. All right, so the first step, we want to remove the toilet seat cover. What you want to do is use your flathead long screwdriver and just gently push it sideways through so it makes sure it pops up. You don't want to force it because these can break easily. See? All right, so next step is to, there was a screw on the bottom. You want to hold that while turning the screwdriver to loosen it. And that is the screw that you want to hold steady while you turn the screwdriver. All right, with the toilet seat cover screws removed, now I can pull up and remove the toilet seat cover and the lid. As you can see now, it's a good time to wipe this clean because I don't think I've ever done that. All right, now my next step, I can insert the bidet attachment while installing the caps onto the frame and make sure the hole is lined up because we're going to put the seat cover back on along with the screw. Yeah, now also be a good idea to rinse the toilet covers. Now I can put the toilet seat and the cover back on while making sure that the holes are aligned. You might have to make some minor adjustments. Now I can insert the screws to the hole and then tighten it with the nuts. My next step is to somehow drain all this water from the reservoir without it refilling water. 
So what you want to do is shut the main valve so it doesn't refill with water and then hold down the toilet, get rid of the water until it drains all the way. Now it would be a good idea to use a pail or something to collect water. Now I'm going to loosen the cold water valve and also this main valve to drain the water from here because we're going to put this connector T unit into here. The next step, I'm going to put this big washer inside this T valve and then I'm going to insert it into the screw right here. I will use the plumber to tape around this right now. Okay, the T valve is on. Then I added some plumber's tape. Now I'm going to connect it to the uh, cold water hose. Screw that on tight. Okay, the main cold water hose is on. And I put the plumber's tape on the threads on both ends. Now I'm going to connect here to here using the extension pipe. I believe the washer is already in here because there were no additional ones that I can find. And I noticed um, the smaller end should go in here, righty tighty to tighten it. So the bigger end will connect to the, the bidet part, the control unit. All right, here's the moment of truth. Hope everything is connected tightly. Turn on the main valve. Hope nothing leaks. Let's turn it to full valve. Yep, nothing is leaking. I'm gonna wait until that fills the toilet while I test out the functions of the bidet. Bidet action, take one. I'm using this as a shield. Here we go. Clean booty. Set to the minimum water flow. Did that, adjust the water level to medium and to high. Okay, and you don't want to feel like rotating it, you can just hit stop. All right, now I'm gonna wash the front, front nozzle. Okay, adjust the water flow. You can rotate as you stop, or press the button if it doesn't uh, stop right there, okay? And here is a self-cleaning mode. It self-cleans the nozzle right there. Or you can um, stop it and then flip this open to use a toothbrush to clean it on a monthly maintenance, preferably. So I actually tried it out, guys. It's quite refreshing. What I love about this design is that it has a built-in stop function versus the other one where you have to manually turn it to stop it. And I like that they separated between the, uh, the front and the back, you know, to wash the front private or the rear private. Sometimes you might forget which way to turn. And I definitely also like the built-in self-cleaning feature. I definitely recommend the Samoja brand. I love the design. Installation was easy. The features were awesome. This will make an awesome Christmas present too, to help the environment to cut down on the use of paper and also is also money savings, especially with how hard it is to find toilet paper now and I think it will increase in price. Switching to a bidet is similar to switching from cable modem or DSL to fiber optics. It's that impressive. If you are in the market for a bidet, definitely check out this Simoja brand. Stay fresh and clean. Until next time, take care of yourselves.